Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, dark matter could send asteroids crashing into the Earth. Now, this is a new scientific theory. But their theory actually matches biblical prophecy in Revelation chapter 8, verse 8. The Bible says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood, and a third part of the creatures which were in the sea that had life died, and a third part of the ships were destroyed, and the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and a third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Now, here's what scientists, they come up with a new theory called dark matter could send asteroids crashing into the earth. Now, we know that there's a lot more asteroids whizzing by the earth every day now. Scientists confirm that, but don't want to tell us what they see. They say many of them just whiz by so fast, they see them as they go by, too late. But according to scientists, mass extinctions, like the cataclysm that ended what they believe was the age of the dinosaurs, according to Harvard scientists, physicists think that the mysterious, invisible substance called dark matter makes up five-sixths of all matter in the universe. It was first detected by the strength of its gravitational pull, which apparently helps keep the Milky Way and other galaxies from spinning apart, given the speeds at which they whirl. Now, scientists have recently suggested that a thin, dense disk of dark matter, about 35 light years thick, lies along the central plane of the Milky Way, cutting through the galaxy's disk of stars, the sun travels in and up and down, waving motions through this plane while orbiting the center of the galaxy. Researchers are suggesting that this disk of clouds and clumps made of dark matter might disturb the orbits of comets in the outer solar system, hurling them inward. This could lead to a catastrophic asteroid impacts on the earth, or the event I just read to you prophesied by the Apostle John in Revelation chapter 8. This catastrophic asteroid impacts on earth of the kind that likely ended the dinosaurs' existence, and they also say theoretical physicist Lisa Randall and Matthew Reese of Harvard University. Now, past research has suggested meteor bombardment of Earth rising and falling in a cycle of about 35 million years long. In the past, scientists have proposed a cosmic trigger for this cycle, such as a potential companion star for the sun with the dramatic name Nemesis. Instead of blaming a death star, for these ca ca uh, catastrophes, Randall and Reese point out that this cycle of doom closely matches the rate at which the sun passes through the central plane of the Milky Way. This hints that the galaxy's dark disk may be the actual culprit. Now, let me just say this. The the dark matter that scientists like to call it, they say is what holds the stars in place and keeps the planets where they are and the sun where it is and the planets then orbit 
the sun, and moons orbit planets, and stars set where they're at because of a gravitational, gigantic, bigger than the universe, dark matter gravitational pull that holds everything together. Can I just make a suggestion? And I'm not a scientist. And don't go there even. But I would not call it dark matter that holds the stars in place, that spins the earth on its axis, that rotates it perfectly around the sun, giving you your four seasons, and even sets the comets in motion or the blood moons to land on Jewish high feast days. I wouldn't say dark matter established this perfection. But wouldn't you agree with me? There has to be a more intelligent designer. Even scientists, if you just go with facts, you know it's a fact that it is impossible for the stars to hang in the sky and not drift away. You know it's impossible for the planets and the earth as part of that and, and the solar systems and not just our solar systems but all of them to be perfectly in sync from, from the millenniums of, the, of its existence. So it's not dark matter that's holding the universe system together but it's the light of God. It's the glory of the Creator. It's Jehovah Himself. And before you bow to another Buddhist statue or sit with your legs crossed humming to some Hindu channel, channeler, or before you pick up the phone and call another psychic hotline or read the morning's horoscope or get out your tarot cards or stare into your crystal ball, or have some gypsy, and no, no offense for those of you, read your palm. Why not open the Bible if you're interested in the mystical mysteries of the universe? Open the Bible and read the awesomeness, the omnipresent Alpha and Omega, the beginning, the end, the first and the last. Now, I will say this. Scientists are right about one thing. Asteroids are coming to hit the earth. It was prophesied they would, and they will. The question is, what will be your fate? What will be your destiny? Are you going to be here to face the wrath of God or will you, and be left behind, or will you be leaving with the body of Christ when the Lord returns to gather his sheep? That's the question. That is the question. That is the question that all of us must answer. Believe in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'll give you a link to this article. Think about your soul in Jesus' name.